Hello crafty people, Ashley here, and today we have a Beauty and the Beast inspired two page layout. So I started with the Sweet as Honey paper line. I really thought that this newsprint was great for the backdrop. Busy enough yet not too distracting from my images. So that large circle with that Sundance pattern is 10 inches. The little black behind it is 10 and a quarter. And on the right hand side, I've cut it at two inches in so that it splits between the two pages. Now those hexagons that you see, that's a three inch strip um, along with a uh, three quarters of an inch Sundance that was running left and right. So to create these flowers, I used a variety of stamping and embossing. So the black and gold flowers, I used one of the old stamps of the month. I'll tag it in the comments, you guys. Um, I embossed it with the Princess Gold Embossing Powder. So I like to shake my powder and I tap the back to get any excess off. Right. Now I picked this up with tweezers since I don't want to scorch my hand and again hit it with that heat gun until it melts and sets. That gives you these this gorgeous look. Now to shape the flowers I'm going to use my bone folder and I'm just going to kind of um, pull. All right? Be careful that you don't actually pull the petal off but doing this kind of like curling, curling ribbon if you ever do that when wrapping. Um, it'll give that nice little curl to the edge of the petals and then I bend him up to the center to give that full look. So I glued these together using some liquid glass and then I added some uh, candy apple gems, loose gems, into the center. Now when I'm creating my layouts, um, I like to kind of larp, I like to place my large flowers down first and then I start to fill them in. I dug through a bunch of my stash. Um, I, I don't know, months ago I had heat embossed a ton of gold for a different project. So I had a bunch laying around. A lot of these are from, I think, the Daisy Meadows stamp. Um, and then there's also doodle flowers mixed in there. And then I was able to use some of the leaves from the new flower set that's out. And I loved this font, all right? It's one of the <clears throat> die cut fonts that we have. It just these great, very fancy letters. And when I saw that I had the sticker world famous, I, I had to do world famous Gaston. It was perfect. So I like to kind of arrange everything. Once I'm happy with that placement, then I'll go back and I'll actually start to glue everything down. Um, I kept going back and forth in that bottom right corner. Um, did I want another butterfly? I didn't like the fact it was the same butterfly on the left and the right side going the same direction. Um, so I finally ended up swapping it out for a just a small flower to tuck underneath. That way I would have um, my triangle of three gold things on that right hand side. Now, um, it was important to kind of visually draw your eyes. See, we have those those flowers in the top left, um, those are our largest cluster. Your eyes go there first along with that vibrant Sundance underneath. And then the photos help drag your eyes across the page until you hit the bottom right. So your layout and composition is very important. I felt like that top was missing just a little bit. So I pulled some of these stickers in and that really helped make a difference. Well, that's it for this layout, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hang in for next time. Craft on.